I know it's tough to, to burn an evening uh, on a topic like this, but obviously you care enough to show up. Tensions were high in Williamston on Wednesday as residents voiced concern for a road diet proposal, which would turn a section of Grand River Avenue from a four lane road into three, making the center lane a turn lane and adding bike lanes. The origin of the road diet for this, from the city's perspective was improved safety at the main four corners. But at the meeting, residents voiced some concerns with the proposal. Some were concerned with the span of the project. Because for pedestrians, I'm still unclear how having a road diet all the way to Zimmer Road to whatever block street or whatever it is, is going to help with pedestrian safety. Other residents said that the road diet is less necessary than enforcing safer driving in the town. If we enforced the speed limit on Grand River and gave tickets, we would increase our revenue, make the road safer, and eliminate all this mess. MDOT clarified that through years of studies, road diets show improved safety for pedestrians. Road diets generally reduce crashes between 19 and 47 percent. So you're looking at a significant savings in crashes. City Manager John Hannafin said that this proposal is not finalized and that conversations with MDOT will continue. And some folks have some real concerns, and we do too as a city. Um, so we're going to study it. We're going to take the input that we received tonight. I thought we had a great turnout um, for folks, and it's always great to see democracy in action. City Manager John Hannafan tells me that on March 25th and April 8th, there will be city council meetings where this road diet proposal is likely to come up in conversation. Reporting from Williamston, I'm John Hart.